united forever in friendship and labor, our mighty republics will ever endure. The great Soviet Union will live through the ages, the dream of a people, their fortress secure. Long live our Soviet motherland, built by the people's mighty hand. Long live our people, united and free, strong in a friend. This is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, I'm doing a follow-up to my previous video of about Barbara Savoy and her comments that Obama should seize all guns in America. This was put on the uh, Gannett Newspapers, Democrat and Chronicle, which is basically part of the New York Communist Party's um, propaganda wing. Anyway, uh, I did contact my representatives and I got some interesting results. Well, I sent a private email to Bill Noje about this and Bill Noje is my state assemblyman. He also runs a talk show host and he told me he would put it on a show, which he did, to his credit. He didn't get back to me as an assemblyman, oddly enough. They did put it on a show. I'll give him credit there. I was listening. Um, and I contacted my state senator. Uh, I'll talk about him in a minute. Hold on, please. I gotta put this on hold. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I had a uh, bit of a brain fart here. Um, this is my state senator. I did call this individual. His name is Patrick M. Galvin, and you know I asked them politely to call me back because all I got was a recording machine, and they never did. So, Bill Noje responded by a personal email and did put it on a show. He's a state assemblyman. He did not respond as a legislator. Patrick M. Gallivan did not respond, period. Basically useless. Uh, creature, I'm afraid. So, I did contact uh, SUNY Brockport. I got, I talked to the office of the president, and he said that his name was John Flocker, was the person I talked to. I explained to him that she was advocating breaking the law and seizing all guns and instituting a dictatorship and, oh, well, it's freedom of speech. He kept hammering on the freedom of speech stuff. We support freedom of speech. She has right to say what she did and so on and so forth. So, here's what we have. We have a college professor, a demented, twisted, and diseased college professor, who's advocating a total gun confiscation, a takeover of the United States uh, in a dictatorial fashion, and nobody bats an eyelash, except for you know Bill Noje. I haven't heard it on national talk shows. I didn't hear it on... Oh, uh, what's her name? There's a female talk show host I listen to. I have kind of a memory problem here, but she's local. She's on WYSL uh, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. 
and I haven't heard it on her show, I haven't heard it on any other show. So, apparently it's just going to be swept under the carpet like it's no big deal, she's just exercising her uh, free speech rights. Well, I got news for you, uh, I can't, you know, I can uh, try to get people together and say, okay, we need a revolution right now, we need to break out our guns and uh, take this country over, you can't do that. But she's advocating the same type of thing, except she's advocating Obama basically become dictator of this country. So, Barbara Lissavoy, you are a twisted, diseased, and demented person. I really wish you would resign. Oh, I did email her and she ignored it, so... You are a diseased, twisted, and demented person. You've openly advocated that the government break the law by seizing everybody's guns. And of course, uh, there's going to be a revolution if they tried. That's not a threat. That's a promise. I don't think people are going to stand for it. Let's hope that this twisted, diseased individual doesn't get to talk to Obama. That would be real bad. Well, Obama's been trying to provoke a civil war as it is. She's been doing, uh, he's been doing everything in, in his power to provoke us into doing something rash. Hoping against hope that we can just get rid of him, get somebody like Donald Trump in, and makes a lot more sense. Don't know if that's going to work, but we've got to try. We've got to try every means we can uh, to fight against shitbags that want to take our freedom, want to take our guns. We gotta fight any way we can to uh, stop this type of thing. This is ridiculous. The college professor sits there and advocates total gun confiscation and essentially a dictatorship. That's what she's advocating for. I don't care how you try to spin it. She's advocating for a dictatorship. That's inappropriate. She should be canned, really. This is a whack job, but they don't care. You know, Sunni Brockport unconditionally condones what she said, and I'm sure if I had contacted the Sunni system, it would be the same thing. Patrick M. Gallivan ignored me. And Assemblyman Nojay did at least put it on his radio show. So there you have it, folks. I'm not going to do a field investigation on this one, I don't believe. The weather's getting really crummy here and going to get cold. And that takes extra time that I don't need to be spending, so i going to leave it like this. Barbara Lissavoy, with the blessings of uh, Democrat and Chronicle, advocates total gun confiscation and the institution of a dictatorship in the United States. It has been con essentially condoned by uh, silence from Sunni Brockport and Sunni system. And largely ignored by our legislators. I haven't heard it on talk shows. I haven't heard it except for Bill Moje's show. As a matter of fact, Mars, we're in serious trouble. Wake up, people. Thanks for watching.